What is going on you guys? It's your girl Diana, back at you with another YouTube video. These seven star for alligator raids are just around the corner, so today I'll be going over some counters that you might want to bring in order to take them down. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Bye. Bye. So per usual, let's quickly go over what we might be going up against once we do get into the raids before we hop into the actual counters. So for Alligator is of course going to be level 100 as this is a seven star terror raid and is normally a pure water type Pokemon. However, for this raid, it is going to have the dark terror type. As for its ability, it will most likely have its hidden ability like all of the other seven stars or most of them, which is sheer force, which means that this Pokemon's attacks with secondary effects have a 1.3 times power and it nullifies the effects. As for its stats, it does have an HP stat of 85, an attack stat of 105, a defense stat of 100, a special attack of 79, a special defense of 83, and a speed of 78. So obviously it's a big physical attacker with a big physical defense. Moveset wise, I can definitely see them putting liquidation on there as it is normally a pure water type and that's like one of the best water type attacks for physical attackers at least. And it does also have a 20% chance of lowering your defense by one stage, which means that it would be boosted by sheer force. I can also see them putting crunch on there, which also has a 20% chance to lower your defense by one. So it would be boosted as well. Metal Claw, which has a 10% chance to raise the user's attack by one stage. So that would be boosted and Psychic Fangs, which destroys screens. Obviously, even though the attacks that do have secondary effects are boosted in their power, remember that you don't get the actual like effect of them, like the secondary effect on top of that boost. Other than its main moveset that we just went over, I can definitely see them putting something like Dragon Dance on there just to be able to set itself up. Breaking Swipe, which does have a chance to lower your attack by one, so it would be boosted by Sheer Force as well. Rock Slide, which does have a 30% chance of making you crit, so it would be boosted by Sheer Force. And lastly, maybe something like Rain Dance just to help liquidate do more damage. But now that we have a little bit of an idea of what we might be going up against once we get into the raids, let's go ahead and take a look at the counters. So per usual, I do have two different options for attackers and two different options for support Pokemon for you. And we are going to go on like the bulkier tanky side for our actual attackers at this time. So starting off with our first attacker, we have Corviknight, which is a very reliable raid Pokemon. You of course want your Corviknight to be level 100 and it's normally a flying and steel type Pokemon. But for this raid, you do want it to have the fight Terra type. As for its held item, you're going to want it to hold the shell bell just so that you can get HP recovery every time you use a damage dealing move. And for this reason, this is probably going to be your best option for a solo as well. But we'll get into that once we have the actual raids go live. Its ability is going to be mirror armor, which just bounces back any stat lowering effects onto for alligator. And its EV spread is going to be full HP and full defense with a defense boosting nature. And that's because like I said, we are going tankier for our builds this time. And we're going to go with with the iron defense and body press route. So for its move set, you're gonna want rock smash, iron defense, body press, and roost. So Rock Slide, of course, is going to technically be super effective because it is a fighting type move. However, it's more so because it does also have the chance of lowering for alligator's defense by one stage. Iron Defense is there for you to, of course, boost your own defense. And that's because Body Press is going to go based off of your defense stat, not your attack stat. And then Roost is there for HP recovery, of course. If you're not a fan of Corviknight, however, you can always go with Iron Hands, which of course you want to be level 100 as well. And it's normally a fighting and electric type Pokemon. However, for this raid, you do also want to have the fighting terror type. Its held item is going to be Booster Energy, which is going to activate its ability Quark Drive and boost its most proficient stat. And its EV spread is going to be full HP and full attack with an adamant nature. As for its moveset, you're going to want to go with Close Combat, Drain Punch, Belly Drum, and Sword Dance. Close Combat and Drain Punch are both going to be super effective moves that you can use on Feraligator. However, Close Combat does have the slight drawback of lowering your defense and special defense. And Drain Punch has the added benefit of not only doing damage, but also giving you HP recovery. And then of course, Belly Drum and Sword Dance are there to help you boost your attack stat. However, remember that Belly Drum also takes your HP away, so just keep that in mind. And for this reason, this is probably going to be better as a group strategy Pokemon. Now, if support is more your speed, I'm bringing back a very odd support Pokemon, which is Coridon. You still want your Coridon to be level 100, and it's normally a fighting and dragon type Pokemon, and 
and remember that the Terras don't matter for the sports. As for its held item, you do want it to be holding the wide lens, which does just boost the accuracy of any inaccurate moves. And its EV spread is going to be full HP and full defense with a defense boosting nature. As for its moveset, very odd to see on a Coridon, I know you are going to want it to have Helping Hand, Breaking Swipe, Screech, and Taunt. Helping Hand is there to, of course, help your actual attacker. Breaking Swipe technically does do a little bit of damage. However, it has the added benefit of lowering attack by one stage. Screech is going to lower defense. And then Taunt is there to prevent for Alligator from using any type of like status. Now, if you don't have a Coridon on hand, as I'm sure mm, half of you at least don't because you're Violet players, you can always go with Umbreon as your support Pokemon instead. Of course, level 100, and it's normally just a pure dark type Pokemon. Its held item is also going to be the wide lens, which, like I said, boosts the accuracy of inaccurate moves. And its EV spread is also going to be full HP and full defense with a defense boosting nature. As for Umbreon's moveset, you're gonna wanna give it Mud Slap, Screech, Helping Hand, and Reflect. Mud Slap does a little bit of damage. However, it has the added benefit of lowering the accuracy of Fralligator. Screech, like I mentioned previously, lowers defense. Helping Hand is there to, once again, help your attacker. And then Reflect is there to, of course, help you take those big physical hits a lot better. But there you have it. Those are a couple of options that you might want to bring in order to take down the Feraligator raids. Leave a comment down below with what you're thinking about using, as I'm sure people would love other options. But that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, I kindly suggest you consider subscribing so that I can continue to make content for you guys. And if you are already subscribed and you would like another way to support the channel, feel free to check out the merch store. There is a link down below in the description that takes you to not only my merch store, but also all of my other socials so you can keep up with what I'm doing on a daily basis. But thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to those of you who have joined the channel as members. I appreciate you all so much. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!